Hold on a second, what's this? Delhi of the Void. Brianna Ashworth is my next target. Brianna Ashworth, curator at the Royal Conservatory. I don't think she's from Karnica originally. I've seen evidence of her visits to Jindosh's mansion and Sokolov confirmed that she's one of Delilah's lieutenants. I wonder if she keeps the same sort of surprises up her sleeves. Sokolov heard conversations about a device being built under Ashworth's supervision, the Oraculum. Something tells me it has nothing to do with the artistic, or the artistic entitled enlightenment of the masses, sorry. Um, an after hours visit to the Royal Conservatory will give me the answers that I need. Yes, it will. Use that skiff. We'll take the skiff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close okay. to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Sold. Ready to take go? me. Yep. Born ready. Yes, let's go. Don the mask. The Royal Conservatory. While held captive, Anton Sokolov learned the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies, Brianna Ashworth, an architect of the coup that took the throne in Dunwall. Ashworth is powerful and full of secrets. She is building a mysterious device for Delilah. She must be eliminated. You know what? I kind of do want to just stab this bitch in the throat. I know it's supposed to be a peaceful playthrough and all that sort of stuff, but... There'll be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Mm -hmm. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. Okay. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. See you soon, suckface! Hey, welcome back again, creature. Internet still playing up, dude. And get so back. Back again. Just at the start of the level as well, dude. You ran on the ground level. Brian is Ash uh, Brian Ashworth may have records about what happened three years ago with the Delilah Copperspoon. Overseer Byron's outpost. Or Burns. Burns. And it burns, burns, burns. He's got a hidden outpost near the docks. He may have useful information about Brianna Ashworth. I kind of want to go do that, honestly. Find out what he knows. Uncover the Ashworth world. And eliminate. Eliminate! How many runes have we got in here? Holy fuck! Lots of runes. But they all look to be... Obviously in this area. There's one over there, though. And this little fella we need to get so we can have a chat with the, the outsider. 250 meters away. Wow. Okay, let's do it. Hey -o. You done for today? Welcome back, Zayo. Right, so I don't know if these guys care about me or not, but we're going to grab everything we can right now. Howl of dust. Okay, so they don't seem to care about us. Yoink! I was pretty sure you I took it with me. You saw nothing, dude. You saw nothing. We should have hearted old Jindosh as well. Wait, aren't we going up there? Isn't that? But that way. Someone looks armed and dangerous. 
I'm sorry. You want me to put them away? There we go. Oh, who sees who sees what? Oh! Dude, why are you angry? Oh, I saw someone right here. Let's check you, the place just in case. You did see someone right here. I wonder who that was. Now, I mean, don't panic. There's a guard behind you. Spooky, someone grabbing people off the street. What do they want? Hopefully they just leave me alone. Oh, we're here! This is where we friggin' started! Okay. You come with me. You had it! You asked for it! Whoa! You're not so proud now. Be that sadistic crown killer. Hold on a second! I'll fuck you guys up! What? Okay, we may have just killed someone because of you, you clown features. But yeah, that's unless he sleeps in his own blood. Maybe he does. Where's the other guy? You need to stop freaking out right now. Yeah, catch him. Oh! What did you do with him, you maniac? Okay, so that other body, I don't know where it went. It... It went, though. Holy shit, it went. Where? Where did he go? That better not get classed what? as a death. Who are you? Stop. Oh, I'm uh, Corvo Atano. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the killer around here. Hope you don't mind. Nice to make your acquaintance. Go to sleep. Man, oh man. I still don't know where that other body went. That's freaking me out a little bit. We threw him. He bounced off that guy because he's so hard-headed. Maybe he's in the tree somewhere. Whatever. Whatever. I got no team for that. Yep. The Silver Spike. Read further at your own peril, my friends, for the truth is a dangerous thing. Any inbred highborn or even the luckiest commoner can wind up living in a mighty tower with a fancy title before their name. Those we consider to be made of finer material are in fact just as rough cut as the rest of us, guided by irrational terror and pretty, uh, petty grievance. Yeah, I thought it was a great idea at first, but it basically makes the game, it makes the non-lethal, low chaos playthrough achievable so much easier because you just let them come at you, hit the sword, take them out. I mean, I, I still fuck it up because I'll grab, I'll grab one of them to choke them out because it's like it's a long animation to choke them out, right? And then if another one comes around the corner, he swings his sword, he cuts up his friend, and his friend's dead in your arms. There's not much you can do in that in that respect, apart from load the game again, which most people would do, right? If they're, if they're going for a, a non-lethal playthrough, most people would be like, ah, fuck, quick load. Nope. My rules have always been and always will be, if it happens, it happens. Fuck it. Just move on and deal with the consequences. And it's the same with any decisions that I'm making games. If it's like, oh fuck, I didn't want that to happen. It's something that's that's happened, so 
I just need to deal with it. Cause especially with it being a playthrough for YouTube, I don't want to just cheese it and be like, hey, yeah, I got it. Cause, and that's the thing, like the, the whole being able to block and knock them out during combat. You could cheese the non-lethal playthrough so easy now. Did Jessamine Caldwin deserve our respect, or did she deserve the knife? Was the former Duke Theodonis Abel a fine ruler? Well, good readers, that depends on your perspective. Are you the craftsman struggling to profit on your fine cabinets? Are you the, word, uh, the woodsman selling your lumber for the highest price? Maybe again, you're the local lawkeeper applying a tax to the woodcutter or the sale of furniture. Truth is variable. Consider Emily Caldwin or her infamous father, Royal Protector Corvo Atano. How did the Empire fare beneath them, good or ill? And now it's Delilah, painter and some say a cult figure. What will her time as Empress bring you and me down on the streets? None of the snots living in the palace know anything about the dust district, even Lord Cov Corvo Atano, despite being born here. Would he recognize the place now? And would we recognize him? You're about to find out, fuckers, because Corvo's home, alright? Corvo's coming home. Guess who back? Back again. Corvo back. Tell a friend. Hey -oh. Uh hey -oh. oh no. Oh man, I'm so happy I never hit that right button. Fire in the hole! Watch this, I'm gonna need that now. I already feel it. We got them guys up there. Wait! Give us what you got! Wait! Oh shit, you really are! Oh! What the hell did you do to me? This won't take off. Screw this! Oh well. You've been living a soft life! Holy fuck, I don't know what they're throwing on the ground, but it's stops me doing anything. Get so back. Back again. You know I'm Corvo Atano, I'm one of you guys. I didn't mean to jump off there, I thought that was water by the way, I've just watched Twitch. Watch my plunge to the death. Wow. That's all I've got to say. Wow. I'll be taking a break when Mel comes back just to make her a cup of tea because I did promise. Oh no, we didn't save it from there. Shit. Okay, well, you know what? Huh? What? Wait! Um, thought I had a few coins on me. Just once, I'd like to see her buy the drinks. Just one time. Is that too much to ask? I mean, I know you see the body. I don't understand why. This is going to make it trickier around here. I think our charms... Oh, it's just there. Yeah, dude. Nice. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys, you guys are no mess, are you? No messing. Who sees me now? Get wrecked, girl. I'll cut head. Look me in the eye. Oh. Holy shit. Get fucking punched in the eye, girl. How does that sound? Hello? Barbo here. Why, why do you cover your face? Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. Okay, I yeah, I'll do it. Your time. No, think about it. No, See no. Anything you like? Well, yeah, I mean, I like... Hold on a second, dude. Uh, yeah, I like the rune. Your rune's really nice. Um, what's this piece of shit? What else have you got? I don't want you to spend any money, though. Honestly. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Well, Howling Bolt blames enemies. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're doing all the howling shit. Armored <sighs> bullet and ricochet shots. Kind of like that one. I'd love to know who made that mask. Very interesting. Enemies near primary target are also okay. It's kind of nice. <sighs> this is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Very good. You've done well, my friend. Um, I mean, we don't have that much money actually. But the money we got. I think we go with the bullets here. It's this one. Reload speed. Accuracy. More bullets. We don't care about the second level of zoom. We don't care about the folding blade, right? A metal shell pack with a thick explosive tire. We've already got. That can chain on or has multiple uses. That's kind of nice for the shot. The day when I can reopen my gallery. Or this one to get multiple. Got all of you. What is that? A howling bolt. Enables black market shops to sell bolts that stun and blind enemies for a team. Nah, I think the one we go for is electrocute you, you little will be scumbag. With your purchase. Maybe go with a faster reload. Nah. It's tough because I I use a crossbow quite a lot, but not for any of these things. And I very rarely use the gun. I don't use this. That's kind of pointless. Up in the conservatory where no one can see them. Maybe more bullets. Truly a shame. An excellent choice. Thanks. The district is so quiet since the conservatory was closed. Uh, and stun more people because the stun mains will come in. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. I mean, you could wrap it if you want. <sighs> uh, yeah, I guess we'll go for a different bowl.
Blood flies are worse here <laughs> Excuse than me, I'm sorry. district in Kanaka. And it used to be such a prosperous district too. We'll upgrade it. Right. How much are you selling this little pappy for? 400? Okay, so we have to rob it. What's this? A safe combination. The shopkeeper's cousin once attended a lecture in a building directly across from the Royal Conservatory. Now infested with blood flies, he knows the combination to the safe. Well, I'm going to come and steal all your shit anyway, dude, so I'll see you soon. All right. again soon. Oh, no and doubt. Keep a close watch on your coin. You keep a close watch. Huh? Sorry, we're closed. Wait. All right, we're open, but please make it quick. Don't tell me you're clo- Oh, look at that. Don't tell me you're closed, you scumbag. I know you're open. All right, yeah, so that's the rune over there. Got a bunch of stuff over that way. I'm so torn between just going for the objective right now. I did not mean to do that. Think something I don't know who I've upset. You can't stay hidden forever. Hello? Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Well, don't, don't search then, dude. I didn't realize that those were a bunch of frigging guards. Oh well, never mind. Are we on his head? Dude! Someone there? Uh oh. Uh oh. What the? Huh? You Who? Get away. No way. What? Let it go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Place. Okay, so that was a little bit buggy because I clearly jumped down on that guy's head. And before he went in on the door and it wasn't letting me do anything. It was literally just letting me jump up and down on his on his friggin' head. Hello? Anybody? Look around. Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Oh, hey! Who is Oh my god! I wonder who that was. What is going on with the friggin' The old jump mechanic? I'll stab you to death, dude. You I don't hide want your to. face, coward! There we go.
Right, so... I mean, are you going to come out here? Fuckity fuck! I don't understand, like, why the drop down shit isn't working at the minute. Maybe restart the game? It's restarting every time I load though, so... It's very... It's a Hello. very small window for some reason. Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. If I go like that... Wait! Oh, what? Dude, I don't know. Did he die? Dude, I don't even know what happened. You just fucking flew off a roof. Was that my fault? You might want to come upstairs. I wonder who that was. I think you should come find out. Right? Come on, big guy. He's pushing her around in the hallway. Right, we'll try this again. Oh. I'll find you, you know. Wait! Oh. Where did he go? Times, hard times. Gotta be on the lookout. Something's gotta give. Hey. Holy fuck, the one time it works is when I really needed it to work as well. <laughs> hey, so these guys are all sleeping now. Going on. Be on your guard, right, boys? Look everywhere. Be on your guard is right. Nice. No Superhero landing, you ready? Your eyes Not Somebody's big. down. Shit. Who are you? Let's go. Wait for my orders. Looking for nope. a oh. Let him come to you. He's dead. Dude, are you kidding? Oh, what the fuck? He stuck a sword in me. Okie dokie. So, I mean, the escalation's real here. Because I've literally brought every guard from the city. Probably two cities across are just coming up these stairs now one by one. That's, it's not really fun, that though. I mean, I could. I'll help you look around. Wait. Close that door. What is that? What is going on? Why?
Corvo the one trick pony at the minute. Carry him. You can go over there. I don't know how I managed to throw people over a roof. So we've got a bunch of shit down there. Come and have a look, dude. Right, we're going to try perfect this jump from here. I think it's just because this gets in the way, honestly. Yeah. So the way it is, like this thing kept getting in the way of the jump, even though I was clearly above them. That's good to know though, for future. Kind of stuffed this whole area up for me though, that was no fun, just doing that like that. It seemed really cheesy. Super cheese! And all of the cheese that goes with it. Some extra cheese in the cheese. What's this one for? Section 21. Regular maintenance. Check the wind speed. Windmill will only turn with sufficient wind. Danger! High wind may overcharge the security systems. Ensure gear works are free from debris. Oil mechanism in accordance with the schedule. Remove nesting animals or vermin such as birds, rats or blood flies. During emergencies, disengage the windmill after windmill using lever located on the maintenance platform. With windmill disengaged, check wooden blades for cracking or loose supports. Wax the wooden blades in accordance with the schedule and periodically gears, blades and other parts must be repaired or replaced as specified in section 10. Very good. Maintain your windmills, people. Never before has the schedule been so important than the one to maintain your windmill. You know there's nothing up here now. You know we've we pretty much got free reign on this place now. We ran in here like a boss though. Like a scared boss, but a boss nonetheless. Wait, what was in the newspaper? Representative from the Royal Conservative confirmed today that the site's closure has been extended once again, and we know all about you. And we're here. Ooh, on the Oracular Order by Douglas Harwickle. Much has been said about the Blaine sisters of the Oracular Order. In truth, their eyes function just as well as yours and mine. However, they endeavour to become Blaine to, dis Blaine to the distractions and frivolities. They will, if necessity bades them, walk among us, wearing a richly hued blindfold. Uh, we read that one. Thank you very much, Doctor. Look at the pile of bodies up there. Stealthy McStealth is in. Hey, baby cakes. Do you want a cup of tea? I'll make you a cup of tea. I never made one. I'll wait until you came back. But if you want me to stop and make you one, I'll do that right now. Overseer Ogburn. I should be back within a few days. Continue to compile the information on Brianna Ashworth's activities. Despite the odd letter we received from our orac oracular sisters in Calera, it's not like them to issue a proclamation without certainty. But I know I'm right about Ashworth. My gut tells me she's a threat. 
That said, the Howl is my priority. This conflict with Paolo could affect our influence in Karnica for years to come. Yours in the stretches. Okay. So he wasn't trusting them. Rightly so as well. Because she's a sneaky bitch. But what sort of stuff did you have on her? Representative from the sister paid a surprise visit. Wait, well, I've read it. I mean, this area is probably super tough when people were actually walking around in it. How do I get that bottle of salts? Like a so. Oh! How do you sleep? With a pistol under the pillow? Well, clearly got issues, dude. That's okay, you got it. Do you want to make me one then, baby cakes? Oh, that's nice. Mel's nice. going to make me a cup of tea. That's very nice of her. And if she doesn't, that's just rude, right? Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order. So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Well, she's clearly fucking... Oh man, I don't want to kill her though. You're at her Ashworth's office? Where's it at? On the third floor. Boom. Looks like there's some sort of balcony here. Is that on the top floor? That's on the first floor. Oh man, that's just the entrance to that? Interesting. Where the hell is this then? That... That kind of looks like it's over this section. So there's a drop down with a balcony just above. Is like here. Might be able to drop down into her office. Interesting. She got a basement as well. So we got a lobby. The Roseboro prototype is where three. Where's three at? On the second floor. Elevator delivery entrance is five, which is a here. Around here somewhere. Um, stairs to lobby and archive. Bunch of witches. That's what we're going to be facing. Bunch of witch bitches. Not looking forward to this section. You don't want to learn about it? Oh, yeah, we've already learned. We're good. So now we have the shopkeeper's associate, which we'll go do right now. Learn how Ashworth corrupts oracles. Hmm. Is that in here, do you think? The Royal Conservatory. They all look like they're in the Royal Conservatory. Apart from that one that's up there. And this one that's in the shop. I could quite easily... Are you serious? Looking for a fight? Actually, Fuck yes, I am. You aren't going anywhere. Beg for mercy. No. Later, I'll be laughing over you rum about right. how you died. Impossible. Ooh. Come back here. Yeah. 
Oh. Uh -oh. That's just the No use running. Huh? No. No, you dirty bastards. They have a cup in the room. No, I don't, don't. Oh man, I can't believe that. That's felt bag, felt bag material. We're not even trying to be stealthy anymore. It's the worst thing. Oh crap! Do a quick save here. Let's go try and be stealthy again. Let's wait. How fucking heavy are your feet, Carvo Atano? Old elephant feet. An opposite word for exaggeration. Um, underestimate? No, that's not really. It's kind of, I suppose. I wonder who that was. That shit was impressive, come on. That shit was so impressive. I swooped down there like Batman. Sing it, sister. That's where we're going to leave it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, as always, take great care of yourself. Be good, be safe. And I will see you guys in the next one.